guys, so today's video is going to be an empties video and reviews of products I have used up in the past few months kind of thing. I just keep all the empty bottles and packages, packages of everything that I've been using and once I finish them I put them in a bag so that I can show you guys all of these products and give you little mini reviews. So I honestly forget half the things that are in this bag so let's get started and see what's in here so i've got them all in this bag that's just a pepper mayo bag so i'm just gonna pull things out randomly so the first thing i have here is a matrix biolage shampoo this is a 250 ml bottle and it's the smooth proof shampoo so this one smells absolutely beautiful i love the smell of this it just smells like the hair salon um and i really liked this one this is just one of my favorite brands, I always get this brand in shampoo and conditioner, although I have discovered a new shampoo that I love even more than this one, so that is definitely the one I will be repurchasing over and over again. The one I'm talking about is the Big Sexy Hair Blonde Bombshell Shampoo, which is just my favorite, but I do really like this one as well, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. I have another Matrix Biolage product. This is the Exquisite Oil in Moringa Blend. I've had this for years. I've had this for so, so, so long. I literally got this for Christmas one year. I think it was probably three years ago. And I love this. I do have another one that is a different blend. It's one for more thicker hair, which I don't really need the thicker hair one, but it was just in a pack. So that's what I got. I just got the one that came in a pack. Um, but I do really love this. It smells so good. And I use this on wet or dry hair, so I just love, love, love this. I love it, especially like when my hair's curled like this. Um, after a few days of it being curled, the ends just get a bit dry. So I'll just use a few pumps of this kind of oil and just smooth it through all the ends. And it just replenishes it and it gives it life back. And yeah, I just really, really love this brand. I used up another one of my Nivea Body Lotion Rich Nourishing. I love this stuff. It's my favorite, favorite body lotion of all time. I will forever repurchase this. It's just my fave. I just love it so, so, so much. Um, it's the best for dry skin. It's the best for keeping fake tan on. It's just the best. I love this stuff and it's so cheap too. Speaking of fake tan, I used up two bottles of Loving Tan. I used up one Two Hour Express in Dark and I used up the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. These are my favourite self-tanners. I love them more than any other self-tanner on the market. They're definitely the best. Um, the one I've got on at the moment is the Two Hour Express and this is fully developed. Um, so yes, I have a coupon code linked down below. If you use the code BREE, you will get a free tanning mitt with any purchase of a mousse online. So definitely take advantage of that code if you guys want um, because the tanning mitts are seriously so nice and I just love this self tanner and I will forever, forever repurchase this. I have quite a few dry shampoos. So the first one I've got is a Tony and Guy Cleanse dry shampoo. I do really like this one mainly because it doesn't leave a residue in my hair. It doesn't like stick to my scalp and make it go all gross um, and also because it has a really nice scent so I do like this one although it is quite pricey I think it's about $20 for this um, sized can so yeah the next dry shampoo I've got is the Colab Sheer and Invisible dry shampoo this one is the one that's Ruth Quilly created like this is her line and to be quite honest I wasn't a huge fan of this I didn't really find it did anything um, it obviously, it felt really nice in my hair and it didn't feel like a dry shampoo, but that's because it wasn't really doing anything. So I won't be repurchasing this one. If I do repurchase one out of this range, it will be one that's not in the sheer and invisible just because it doesn't do a thing. So I don't really see the point in using it. It did smell really nice though. It does have a nice scent. Another dry shampoo is the Batiste floral and flirty blush. This is what this one looks like. It just has a real floral scent to it. It's not my favorite scent, but I do love the Batiste dry shampoo the most because um, it's the most affordable and it definitely works the best, I feel like. I used up a bottle of the Artiste brush cleaner. Um, this is just a spot cleaner for your makeup brushes and this is my favorite one. I've been using it for years and years. You can get this from Priceline and it costs about $12 I think and it is just amazing. All I do is I spray it on a little piece of tissue and just swirl my brush in it 
in between deep cleans and it gets rid of the product that's in the brush so I definitely love this one and it smells really clean and just nice and fresh so I would highly recommend this um, do you guys want a brush cleaning video let me know down below if you do because I feel like there's lots out there but I feel like maybe that's a video I could do for you guys but anyway that is that product I used up a mini version of the Nivea rich body lotion this is such a good little travel size you can get these from Woolworths I think um, so I just got it for when I travel down to my parents' house and that kind of thing. So I used that one up. I used up another Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is my ride or die, like, holy grail makeup product. Like, you need this. You need this. This works so, so, so well. I cannot stress it enough. I will never not buy this. Like, if I'm running low on this, I'm already ordering a new one so that I don't ever run out. Like... I hate going a day without this. So yeah, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, one of my favourite products in the whole world. I used up a Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Moisturiser. This is a small size, this is a 30ml, I was going to say bottle, what is this, pot, pot. And this came in a Christmas collection that my boyfriend got for me at Christmas time. I fell in love with this moisturiser. This is my favourite, favourite moisturiser for when it's winter time. Um, I do prefer my Origins Ginseng in the summertime because it's a bit lighter, but this one is definitely more hydrating, thicker and richer for the winter time. So I did purchase the big one, which is 60 ml, so double the size. Um, so definitely recommend this one for anyone with like normal to dry to dehydrated skin. I just love this moisturizer so much. It's absolutely beautiful. I used up another deluxe bronzing mousse. This looks disgusting, like it's feral around the top. Um, by Loving Tan, again, love it. Obviously, this is the second bottle in one empties video. These are two older fake tans that I had just sitting in my collection that were are pretty much empty, like there's barely anything in them, so I'm getting rid of them. And that is the Saint Tropez Sultana in Dark. It's definitely not dark. It definitely does not give you that much colour. So I wouldn't really recommend it for the price. It's just like you're spending so much money to just have a hint of colour. Um, this used to be my favourite until I sort of discovered Loving Tan and then that took over. Um, so I did like it, but it's definitely not worth the price tag that comes along with it. And the other one I'm getting rid of is this Bondi Sands self tanning foam in dark. It's still got a little bit in it, but I just never use it. And it just wears off a bit too patchy on me, so I am getting rid of that one as well. I used up a Natural Glamour Primer. I actually haven't repurchased this for a long time. I used to use this in all my videos, but I just love my Bare Minerals Primetime so much more now that I just haven't repurchased this. But it is a really good drugstore primer if you are looking for a primer from the drugstore. I think this might be just an Australian brand. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it is a good one. It's just a silicone-based smoothing primer if you are looking for just like a good drugstore primer. Speaking of the Bare Minerals Prime Time, there is an empty bottle of that in my empties bag. This is just my favourite primer of literally all time. It tops everything. It makes my makeup stay on. It's the neutralizing shade, so it is yellow. Um, it looks very yellow when you pump it out, but as you blend it into the skin, it shears out and just gives your skin the most beautiful, hydrated and even and just... You just look like you have been blessed with beautiful skin when you put this on. So on my no makeup days, I literally just put this on and I love it so much. I would highly recommend this and it's pretty affordable, to be honest, for a high-end primer. So I purchased mine off Mecca.com if anyone's interested. I used up a Purity by Philosophy face wash. You guys know this is my ride or die face wash. I love this so, so, so much. I use this every single day. I cleanse my face in the morning with it. I cleanse my face at night with it. I do a double cleanse at night and it's just my all-time favorite face wash. I will never, ever, 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 ever use anything else to be completely honest. I just am obsessed with this. So this was a 118.3 ml bottle. So it's a smaller one than what I normally get. I used up my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Fiji. 
this was my first bottle. I have repurchased it um, because I do really like it. It is quite pricey, but I am just a big fan of NARS foundations. I like NARS Shoe Glow better than this one, but I still do really like this one. It lasts all day for work, so I have already repurchased this one. And I do have a review on my channel if you're interested. I'm getting rid of this Rimmel Scandalize Rock and Curves Mascara. It is like completely dried up. Oh, no, it's not completely dried up. There's still some product in there, but it's way too old and I definitely need to get rid of it. This is a really, really good mascara. I do really, really love this one. I used to use it all the time and I should really purchase another one. And then the last product I have used up is a MAC Painterly Paint Pop. Um, there is still product in this, but it literally is really just dry and I'm just going to get rid of it because um, it, this one started to run out so I bought a new one and then I couldn't wait to use the new one so I started using the new one. This one just got pushed aside and it's dried out so that was a fail on my behalf of not being patient and using up all of the product. This is my favourite eye primer in the whole world. I use this every single day to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow and it just works a charm. I love it so 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 much. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing into my empty products and what I liked and what I didn't really like, what I repurchased and what I'm not repurchasing, all that kind of good stuff. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. An empties video. Hey guys, so today's, hey guys, so today's video, what the fuck? So this one is what this one looks like. This one is what this one looks like. It is an empty, what, what are you even saying? What are you looking at? But, um, they did, they, So that is everything for this